In today's video, we are jumping right back into Dr. Joe Dispenza's Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. In the last Dr. Joe video, we were in chapter six and we talked about the three brains. If you haven't caught that video, click off, go watch it, and then meet us back here, all right? So let's dig into this. So this is a good one. So he says, now all three brains are working together and you are biologically, neurochemically, and genetically in a state of compassion. When compassion becomes unconditionally ordinary and familiar to you, you've progressed from knowledge to experience to wisdom. So he talks about the two memory systems, basically what enables this to happen. The first is called declarative or explicit memories. When we remember and can declare what we've learned or experienced, those are declarative memories. There are two types of declarative memories, knowledge and experience. The second memory system is called non-declarative or implicit memories. When we practice something so many times that it becomes second nature. When we no longer have to think about it, it's like we almost can't declare how we do it. The body and mind are one. This is the seat of our skills, habits, automatic behaviors, associative memories, unconscious attitudes, and emotional reactions. Thus, when we take what we learn intellectually with the neural cortex and apply it, personalize it, or demonstrate it, we will modify our behavior in some way. When we do, we will create a new experience which will produce a new emotion, the limbic brain. If we can repeat, replicate, or experience this action at will, we will have moved to a state of being, which is where the cerebellum comes in. So if you haven't watched the last video, go watch that so you know what we're talking about. He says, wisdom is accumulated knowledge that has been gained through repeated experience. And when being compassionate is as natural as suffering, judging, blaming, or being frustrated, negative, or insecure, now we are wise. We are liberated to seize new opportunities because somehow life seems to organize itself to how we are or who we are being. So that's key when it comes to manifesting a life that you love and really attracting a life that is equal to who you want to be and not who you're programmed to be. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. Stay tuned for the next Dr. Joe video where we break into chapter seven is called The Gap, where he goes over the gap between who we are and who we want to become. So grateful that you have watched this video all the way to the end. I love you all for no reason at all. I'll see you soon.